Hey guys, I want to come here and show you guys the random stuff I bought. It's so random, guys. It really is. So the first thing I got was two camis. Just a black cami and a um gray one. Which if you didn't know, besides pink, I love gray. Also, I picked up this um don't laugh at this color, y'all. But it's a purple jogging suit. Purple pants. And here's the shirt. It's by the company NYC. And kind of cool here in Florida in the daytime. So I just wanted to jog. Let's talk about these wigs I picked up real quick. I picked up the wig that I'm wearing right now. This is Taji. And it's by It's a Wig. And it's in the color LX. 9953. So it has like this wine red. Another it's a wig. This one is in Journey. And that's what she looks like. And this one is in the color TT613. And these wigs were $10. And I also grabbed the Vivica Fox. Hair collection. This one is in Lizzie. I have to pull Lizzie out for you to see. But I'm gonna do a um, try on of all of these, so you'll see it in there. Lizzie is basically she has like uh, this beautiful wave pattern. And last thing for hair, I got was some more flat irons for um, Malia, my eldest, because she got all her hair shaved off on the sides again, and she she does how she likes it. I'm not gonna argue with the girl. She got a little blonde in the front and she likes to have it flat on her out. So I bought another one of these for her. And this is the Andis ceramic plates. These are just, we have one of these already and I had it for so many years so it's kind of like scratched up. So I just figured I'd get another one. Also, I got some vitamins. Um, Persia does not eat, guys. She does not like to eat. She would eat like crackers or anything crunchy but she's very very picky if you try to get her to eat like a hamburger or anything like regular real food she'll run she does not like it so i was concerned about her her iron was a bit low doctor said so i got her this infamil with iron and pretty much it's just a doppler i gave her some last night i just walked up to her she looked at me and i just stuck it in her mouth and pushed it in she swallowed it before she even could think about it and it's just a Doppler, and you, I mean, excuse me, a syringe, and you pull it. I'm about to clean it now that I touched it, but you pull it and put the vitamin in there. You can put it into her, you know, their drink, the juice, whatever. So I do got iron in it, so I'm happy about that. Also picked me up some vitamin D3, because a lot of people don't know that a lot of their problems come from having low vitamin D. So these are so freaking good, too. So these are the Vitafusion um, 3000 IU, the gummies. Strawberry. I'm so mad about this case, guys. I got the little case there, right? We going crazy for the little mirror case, and um, it broke. Like as soon as I put my phone in there, it kind of like broke in the back, and then it doesn't even fit. I have an iPhone 7 Plus. It doesn't fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the seller down below <clears throat> because I don't want you guys to be scammed and buy this, um, and and it doesn't work. And I'm not the only one who's reviewed and said it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna let you guys know where not to buy them. Get on to skincare. I was sent these skincare items about seven, eight months ago, and I never got around to using them. But I wanted to show them to you guys, and I wanted to tell you guys I'm gonna go and do an in-depth review of these because I did want to use them when they sent them to me. It's just that I was pregnant at the time. So the first thing they sent me was some skin lightening cream. And I don't want to use this to lighten my skin, but I do want to use it to lighten my neck. I can't do anything with my neck. I've tried everything. So this does have a little bit of hydroquinone in it. So I'm going to use that to try and lighten my neck. And I do want to do a skin lightening video just to let you know if it actually lightens up that um, portion of my skin. Just this big strip of hyperpigmentation I have. So I'm going to use that. They also sent the lemon soap as well. And they also sent the exfoliating lemon soap. And this is what the soap looks like. It comes wrapped up. I took it out. So I'm going to do a full review for you guys on that. They didn't ask me to. This is not sponsored. It's just that I want to show you guys if it works or not. Because I'm curious to see if it can 
get rid of that hyperpigmentation on my the absolute neck. last things I got was some more skincare items for myself I got myself the um what is this the St. Ives even and bright pink lemon mandarin orange scrub I love to tone I love to especially since pregnancy and I got a little bit darker and none of my foundations was matching which is why I got this foundation in like a darker color because I want to make sure it works and I'm not looking pasty so <laughs> I'm trying to even brighten my skin tone back to the same color to match with the rest of my skin and the rest of my body so I can look like one tone so I got this pink and lemon mandarin orange scrub from St. Ives and oh it smells so good also, I got the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. Again, I'm trying to get my neck and stuff back to the right color. And um, I was like, I'm going to try everything I can. Like, I'm really going to try to lighten my neck. My grandmother, she uses just a little bit of lightening cream on like little spots. And like after three months, her skin is so gorgeous. Her skin is just completely even one color. And mine is just all over the place. So my hands are a different color. Even these two hands are two different colors. Look at that. <laughs> they're even two different colors so it's just my everything on my body is just uneven so i got this and it smells when i open this out the package you can smell this like as soon as you open it and the last thing i got guys was the clean and clear morning burst hydrating gel moisturizer oh smell like strawberries Yep, so I got that stuff. So that's all guys. I just wanted to come and show you guys that you already know that I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, so if you haven't seen that review, I will link that one down below. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.